can't believe we're going to New Zealand tomorrow. I'm going to get Botox. I have this strong craving. Mungafo. Mungafo. No, it's mungwa. It's like mungwafo. I am just about to get ready and put some... Uh, I'm not going to put makeup on. Oh, maybe a little bit. Because I am going to get my lashes lifted. Emco Beauty Soft Matte Beauty Wand. I haven't tried this yet. I love using these for the first time. You squish it. Don't forget to turn it off. Hmm, it's not very pink. It's really nice, but I'm in the mood for more of a pink. So I'm gonna put it on this Australis. Yep, that's nice. Guys, we're going to New Zealand this weekend. We are gonna be in Auckland on Friday. I'm so excited. Our manager emailed us and she was like, oh guys, it's just you two on this trip. I'm like, wow, I don't know how I feel about that. Like, you know, could have met some friends, other influencers, but it's just gonna be us two. I'm actually happy about it. It's just gonna be a little getaway for us. We do have to film two TikToks each and then eight story frames. We have to do like a concept and we've sent it to them like, this is our idea. And they're like, yep, yeah, very happy with that. They changed a few things. This is like a little behind the scenes if you're wondering what an influencer trip kind of looks like. I have to do two voiceover vlogs and Renee has to do like a get ready with me together talking about the trip and the itinerary and another little lip sync TikTok. And we can do organic content as well while we're away, which is like, filming and posting as we go. For the outfit today, I'm thinking this little set from Petal and Pup. I've got my pearl earrings in. I'm also wearing a little piece from Rare Rabbit, this brand that we showed you in a couple of vlogs ago. It's so beautiful. I feel like it kind of like makes this outfit like really beachy because of the pearls. And I've also got <laughs> this underneath because I don't know why I always choose to wear white during that time of the month. Like I literally just got my period and I never wear white. And the bag is from Petal and Pup as well. And then to bring in the beige, I've got my beige Nikes. Good afternoon, it's 2 p.m. I'm making myself some lunch. I'm in the apartment all by myself because Jazz is getting her lashes lifted. I'm making myself a salad wrap with mayonnaise and sweet chili as the sauce. I had a lash appointment today as well, but I canceled it because I feel like I'm coming down with a bit of a sickness. I'm trying to take it slow because Jazz and I are going to New Zealand at the end of the week and I cannot get sick for that. Welcome back to another vlog. Mmm, so simple, but so delicious. All I have in here is spinach, lettuce, Carrot, tomato, cucumber, avocado, sweet chili mayonnaise. And that's it. Mm. I actually don't know how people eat lunch and then just like happily go about their day without having lunch dessert. I have this strong craving for a sweet, literally just a biscuit or like a tiny bit of chocolate just to like get that savory taste out of my mouth. Digestives. Jazz and I discovered that we love these in the UK, but the caramel ones, they're like, oh, they're so much better than these ones, but these are still good. This is soft. It's literally two o'clock and I'm still in my pajamas. Yep. Plumper hydrated bouncier skin. Quench your skin with Esme's Thirsty Skin Plumping Sheet Mask. Leave on for at least 10 minutes. Ideal hydrating mask plumping time is 20 to 30 minutes. Jazz is here. Looks like you're enjoying yourself. Let's have a look at your lashes. Oh, yeah, no. Do you like it? Yeah, they're really nice. Yeah, I know. So I went to the dentist to book an appointment. But apparently your checkup is actually in April. So we moved it out of April and put it next week together. The reason we want to go to the dentist is for a checkup and a clean, but also the last x-ray that we got, got cracks all in our teeth, our back teeth, because we grind our teeth. And then we also get headaches and we're like, we didn't actually think it could be related to grinding our teeth at night time. Yeah, I told her straight away and she's like, oh, um, yeah, there's this thing called a splint. So there's, splint. Two, there's two options. One, get Botox straight into the muscle to relax it, which is a lot of Botox and it's a lot of money. And basically you have to do it every four to five months and it costs around $500 each four to five months. Otherwise it just wears off. Um, or you have to wear a splint at night, every single night. It's like a retainer, but it's a bit thicker and it just puts a gap there between your teeth mm -hmm. so you're not grinding. So they're the two options. That one's cheap. What do you like? If it sends my face, I like Botox, but if it does nothing, I'm not fucking getting needles and Botox in my face if it's not gonna do anything. I'm gonna get Botox. Botox means you don't have to wear a splint and apparently it's really uncomfortable sometimes. But then also some people wear the splint and they can't go to bed without it because it becomes like a I think we're gonna habitual do, thing. Yeah. I don't want to wear a splint. Well, what, can I do the Botox and then maybe like... Get a splint if it, And then if, if you, you're sick of it, get a splint. Yeah. All right, well, so yeah. Something to think about. Oh, that feels so good. 
Oh my god, my face actually looks so much more hydrated. Or is that just the placebo effect? It's probably just the placebo effect. We're going to New Zealand tomorrow. First time going to New Zealand. Today's prep day because we still haven't packed. All we need is some pressure for us. Oh, why do we work like that? Oh my uh, god, I saw this TikTok. <laughs> so funny. Right, so I woke up and my hair was like, and now I'm not wetting it, not bothered. So I just nice. put it back with some hairspray. One week before a trip. Poor day's <laughs> 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 you got your sink, I'm sitting there and it's just it's so Oh my god, you have to post on your stories. Oh, that's brilliant. Welcome back to another vlog. This vlog is all about prepping for New Zealand. Oh, oh wait, we spoke to them yesterday. <laughs> I was just waiting for you to realize. We're halfway through the vlog already. Yeah. I'm putting a jumper on. This is just bold. This is why the SD card gets full. Because you don't turn the camera off. Yeah, it might capture something fun. There's nothing fun happening right now. I've just gotten ready for the day. As you can see, my hair is still a mess. Put the straightener through it to like try and make it look a little bit more tame, but that obviously didn't work. Outfit of the day, white fox t-shirt, Princess Polly jeans, and then this underneath, which I got, I literally have no idea. It was really cheap and I just like looked up mesh. And then my buy my bag. And now I'm wearing a black pajama set. Nah, floppy, because I got my period and like you just want to wear like daggy stuff. I'm going with this is color 17. Yeah, you pick them. They look so good. Pink. Baby pink. We are home, just made our second coffee of the day. We don't normally have two coffees, but at the moment, like we need, we need to pack, we haven't packed yet, and we just need an afternoon picking up, exactly. Jazz is just going through our brief for New Zealand. Um, we have a whole itinerary, but we have to film some videos and we want to make sure that we're pronouncing things right. So day two, we're going to Waihaki Island. I know W-H is F. hi -ra. I still don't know goodbye. hi -ra. hi -ra. No, that's not how you say it. It's Harira or something like that. Harira. That's how you say it. Did you hear that? Harira. Harira. We don't have to say that though. Mogawa. What is it? M A U N G A W H A U. W H A U. Yeah, well, that's why we're walking around with. Wow. It's a tough one, that one. Manga fall. Oh. Ah. Manga fall. Are you sure? Manga fall. Manga fall. Mamma fo. No, it's mangua. It's like mangua fo. Mongofo. It's Mount Eden in Auckland. So and we're going to go for a walk around Mongofo. Māori. 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 Māori is their second language. Māori guide. So we went to the PO box and we have two little parcels here. We have this one here. It says stickers. Someone reached out and wanted to send us these personalized stickers. And I'm excited to open that. And then also this one, which is from Sephora. They sent us something from Sephora. I'm going to open up the stickers. Oh, I kind of want to do a TikTok. For the stickers. Yeah. I feel something positive about that one. The stickers. You're kind of excited. I'm excited about it. The brand is Hayla Stickers. We made some custom stickers of Harry. <gasps> no way. No. Wait, 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 wait. Just the kid Leroy. No. <laughs> and of course, some stickers of a few locations from your UK trip. Plus a bonus oh Outlander logo sticker. Oh my gosh. Hogan 20 for 20% off on all orders. Etsy, Etsy store. store. Hayla Stickers. Yes. Oh, my oh my god. god thank, thank you, you Bella and Hayden. This. This okay, ready for this? Oh, my phone's slipping. <laughs> Actually, him. That's baby that's Harry. Actually Harry. That's that's baby Harry. It's so clear. Oh my god. We went to that Edinburgh, Scotland. That's beautiful. Oh, I love him so much. It's so cute, right? Yes. I love it so much. So then, when I'm on the laptop, now we can tell the difference. Making sure it's all the right way up. <laughs> Imagine that. Ta-da! It's literally a 5.41 and we still haven't packed for New Zealand and we have Why to get up and leave at 6.30 in the morning. One more parcel to open with you. Ooh. Gosh, this is interesting. It says curl definition volume Sephora. Wow. <gasps> oh. So we have three mascaras to try. Woohoo. Mm, thank Patrick you, Patrick House. House and Sephora. Okay, now we're going to pack. Oh, God, there's something in that. <laughs> it's full of clothes already. 
Holy moly, this is the current situation right now and I'm a little bit stressed. I need to go through my entire wardrobe and make a donation pile. Let's do this. We're gonna be in New Zealand for two full days and three nights. I'm out of breath because I was just packing for like two hours, trying to pick outfits because I wanna wear some different fits and not outfit repeat. I'm just about to put them in my suitcase. I'm thinking this is outfit number one. It's a bit dangerous to wear white pants, to be honest, because day one we're actually on a bicycle. So white pants on a bicycle, we will see. Also, all these outfits can't have brands on them, like logos, big logos, because it, the trip is with a brand, so it's all like paid content. And because we're filming over there, they don't want us to, you know, Nike or something. Also, this is a tip to help you not overpack is try on all the outfits that you're gonna bring because then you tend not to like throw in extra shirts and extra pants because you've got the outfits like ready to go. I'm trying to work my way through the itinerary. So when we get off the plane and we get to the hotel, we check in and then we're going for some cocktails, like a little dinner thing I think they've organized. So I need an outfit for, so tomorrow night. I've put this outfit together. It's just a long red dress. Going out outfit. This is the outfit for the next day, which we're going um, on a zip line. We're going on like some boat and then doing like tea making, wine tasting. This is the outfit for day two. Now I found this headband, which goes perfectly with the pants. I apologize for the angle, but this is going out outfit number two. I love a classic black dress. It's got a little split, ties up at the back. It goes perfectly with these heels. Now I'm just putting my airport fit together. I love an all black fit to the airport. So I'm gonna wear all black. Just these long pants from Culture Kings. Little halter neck and my leather jacket. This is gonna be me all black with this really bright suitcase. It's almost nine o'clock and I still need to do my hair because it still has hairspray in it. And I'm transferring all this into the big suitcase because I cannot fit everything in this small suitcase. So I'm taking this big one. Renee's gonna take the small one. And then if she needs to fit anything in my bag, like she can just put it in my bag. Update, it's almost midnight and I've set the alarm for 4.50. I've washed my hair, I've diffused it, I've popped it in a little silk cap. So hopefully it's not gonna be too frizzy tomorrow. I'll see you in the morning. I'm only getting five hours sleep. About to go to sleep and i'm setting my alarm at 5 a.m so five hours sleep lovely it's gonna be less than that because like i'm not gonna fall asleep you know that quick um i finished packing kind of literally in a rush like i'm not even bringing any jewelry i'm hoping i have everything <sighs> can't believe we're going to new zealand tomorrow it's so weird so grateful for my life jazz and i are going to start a new vlog tomorrow so it's gonna be like new zealand vlog and this one's like new zealand prep i'm gonna end the vlog here i love you guys thank you so much for watching and we'll see you very soon bye